Hello everyone. That feels like a very underwhelming start considering the three months I've been away. Honestly, it feels like much, much longer, but I never realized how full-time my passion for art was until I started having to work at a job full-time. And then, well, it felt like all of my time and energy just went out the window. Now that I'm able to see my close friends and coworkers every day, when I haven't for the last year and a half, I find the time I spend with them is so, so precious and it's become difficult for me to say no. And when I do, that time is spent taking care of my home and trying to prepare for whatever is happening the next day and back to work the next morning. And it's a tough cycle, but it's life. And I'm not here to make any excuses. I have something in line with this and yet much more important and specific to talk about today and it is the thing i am the absolute worst at in my art it's my greatest weakness i'd like to start by saying that my greatest weakness and yours is not how you mix colors or your ability to paint lips. I mean, yes, it's really hard to paint lips, but even doing a really crappy job at painting lips is still working toward what every artist's main goal should be, which is, you know, improving yourself and finding peace in your art. That can only be done through performing with whatever medium you use. So in my case, painting, painting an eye that turns out awful does not mean that my weakness is eyes. Just putting the brush to the surface is honestly a huge accomplishment because, you know, take this first painting that I started with in this video. It looked awful, in my opinion, okay? But it doesn't mean painting this figure is my weakness. Art is one of those amazing things where giving it your best shot actually does help you get better because you learn from mistakes. And today, I'm going to talk about my weakness. But my weakness is not just making a mistake. My weakness is discipline. Artist blocker burnout and lack of discipline in art are two very different things, I'd like to say. The first is when you desperately want to, in my case, paint, or you wish so badly you could get into your art, but you just cannot find the inspiration or the motivation to do so. But a lack of discipline is where the inspiration is there and the motivation is there, but you just don't make the time to paint. And it's definitely been hard balancing work and painting, and yes, I acknowledge that I'm very exhausted, like 99% of the time, and that's okay. But I'm allowing myself to forget that painting is an outlet for me. When I paint just for myself, with no real goals in mind, I let so much of my stress go, and I have, for so long now, and it's hard to be disciplined when it seems like you have so much else going on, but at least for myself, I, ne like, I need to get back into painting. It carried me through the worst parts of the pandemic for myself, and I don't want it to ever become something that's just a time filler. I've known what I wanted to do as a career since I was young, not painting, but <laughs> even my passion for that has been overshadowed by my absolute love of painting. There really is nothing like it for me, um, and just making this video months after I filmed it, it, it's like a breath of fresh air. I feel so, so blessed to have found a love for something like this earlier in my life, so I can spend so much more time doing it and getting better but if that's the case then I need to do it and as corny as this may sound art does make me a better person it makes me more peaceful and it makes me see beauty in so many things like you know in the winter when somebody sees gray in the trees and brown in the grass I see oranges and blues and greens and blue snow and yellow clouds and walking through an art museum actually brings me joy now and it doesn't bore me out of my mind like it used to which is actually a huge accomplishment knowing how bored I would get in museums before art museums even though I've always loved art getting to see the actual brushstrokes and colors that an artist does up close is 
absolutely amazing to me now. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> All this to say, I will continue painting. I will put it in my calendar if I have to. And thank you all for your continued support. I can't wait to see where this goes. And I am going to try my best. Feel free to hold me accountable too. Um, and if you have problems with discipline as well, I encourage you to make time for art. Because in the end, it is always, always, always worth it. <laughs>